our next guest. Drew, she was a cast member on your favorite show, and she is your birthday twin. She was here last year for her birthday. So Rachel now Dretch! It's a tradition. Please welcome Rachel Dretch! <laughs> Emotional support mac and cheese. I, I need it. <laughs> I, heard, I heard it's your, your favorite. favorite food. And I know you need some emotional support right now because it's a very emotional day. And we're Pisces. We're both Pisces. They, it's the last sign on the chart. They say yes. the most intuitive. The most wise, of course. Yeah. And, it's, <laughs> and it's your birthday, too. It's right? my birthday, Happy too. Happy birthday, Rachel. Birthday. They share a birthday. So a real mac and cheese here. Oh. Now they told me, look at this. Oh. Do you know what's so crazy? I'm so flipped out right now, I'm not hungry. What? Oh wow. When your body's going like this, you can't eat it all. Uh-uh. No, okay, I'm well, way too spun out, but I will well, keep it could, for, for later. Okay, right? no, they, they, they said it's in a cloche. They uh, said this was a cloche. So that's let me ask very you something, fancy. Rachel. Yes. I I have seen you many times on the John Oliver show. Oh, yes, yeah. Wanda Joe. Yeah. And it started as like a televangelist wife, and my hair just keeps getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah. The bigger the hair, yes. the closer Wanda to God. The, the right. What's he like? Um, he's, I mean, you just saw him, right? He's like fantastic. He's my husband. He's my TV husband. So um, he's fantastic. Aww. I mean, I'm, I, it's been so fun seeing you get so surprised. I with know, each right? guest. I know. And I know I'm like, and then here comes me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding you? me? I love you so much. I love you so much. And like, <laughs> I, I just, I, I, it's so funny. I mean, do you know how much like Every day of my life, also, like I quote you as Debbie Downer. Oh Downer's. my gosh, yes. you guys. Iconic, the best of the best. <laughs> Feline AIDS is the number one yeah, killer of yeah. cats. Yeah, yeah. Can you um, give us a Debbie Downer right now? Uh, just, I, can, I don't know. Just, I don't know. <laughs> like, we're going to go. <laughs> What would you like for your birthday more than anything else? Oh, yeah, because you have okay. so much success. You're Tony nominated actress. Hello. Thank you. I Icon from SNL. Thank you. you yes, it's true. Hang out with my hero, John Oliver. You're yeah. a comedic queen and genius. Yeah. Wow, this is a good birthday. Oh my gosh, okay, this is weird because I can't think of anything at this moment, but I will say I'm I'm pretty good at manifesting things. Mm. Like like I try to like say it and then things do kind of come true for me. Yeah. Really? So what I should you... think of something, right? Yeah. yeah. What do you want? I, 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 but then I always choke on these moments. Okay. Wait, what is your wish for the year? Um, Can I just copy you? I just want my kids oh. to be okay. Like oh, that's, that's all I want. That's good. <laughs> See, that's good. You thought of others. Well, I know what I want, and it's not even my birthday. I want to hit some headlines. I want your take on this. Okay. All right. First up, People Reports. Baseball star Derek Jeter revealed the unexpected way he broke out of a terrible slump. It was 2004, and Jeter was 0 for 32 and in desperate need of a hit. So he borrowed a teammate's tried and true good luck charm. It was a golden thong. Hey. Oh, I like this headline. Right? And as soon as he put that thong on, he hit a home run. Well, so I'm wondering, would you guys, if you were ever in a slump, would you borrow a friend's thong and just oh. put it on? I mean, of all the underwear to choose, that that's that's really true. gets that's, in the orifices. That's true. And like this. So <laughs> I. I mean, I wow, think, that's a flossy, com like, intimacy. Yeah, what about flossy you? I, th I, think I, would, I think I would decline and just hope for the, the luck of the gods as opposed to putting <laughs> on a friend's thumb. That's desperate thong. times call for desperate no, situations. So, right. I've so done much grosser. Uh, I had to think, do I know a friend who wears a gold thong? And then, yeah, I do. I do. So I would, I would totally borrow it. Yeah, come on, man, you got to get home run. Yeah, do what you need to do, really. Yeah. <laughs> I would borrow your underwear because as Drew always tells, us, she wears really big underwear. Wait, 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 I heard you say that. I fear, Ross, they would be too big for you. You'd need like a diaper <laughs> pin in them. All right. Uh, well, Drew, we have a story for you actually next if you want to
to take this. And you again, you have not seen this story. Nope, this is fresh off the fresh. Okay. okay. Um, next, Bustle reports on a flirting technique going viral on TikTok. It's a way to let someone know that you're into them without saying it. It's called the triangle method. Yeah, the triangle method. And I want to demonstrate. Here's how it works. So if you want to flirt with someone, when you're face to face with your crush, you trace your eyes in the shape of a triangle by looking at first in their left eye, then down to their mouth, and then to their right eye. The way that far down you looked looked like it I was... know. I was looking. I was looking a little too, little too low. Sal. My mouth's up here, Matthews. Right. <laughs> so let. Do you want to try it on me? Let me try it on you. Right. I'll try it on Rachel. Me? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do okay. left okay, mouth okay, right. Ready? Okay. Hi. Hi. How? Oh. Wow. Oh, I'm Did looking it... over her <laughs> shoulder. It works, you guys. <laughs> you can do By the way, did you do the whole triangle? I'm dizzy. I don't know. Hold okay. on. Give me a second. I gotta catch my breath. Wait, I need Try this because I gotta tell you, I just watched Ross do it over Rachel's I didn't shoulder, I was and it's this. um, it it is very sexy. It yeah. is very come hither. I think it could really work. Try it on me. Oh. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not even into it, and I was a little into it. A little into it. I mean, would anybody doing it my own shape? Hold on, I like when you do it. <laughs> A trapezoid, a flirting trapezoid. Yeah. <laughs> so good. <laughs> all right, next. Here's a question. Have you ever looked at your dog all snuggled up in your little doggy bed and just wish you could climb in there with them? Well, according to Forbes, two college classmates thought about it and then they brought it to life. It's called the Pluffful, and it's the world's first, oh. first dog bed built for humans. Look at that. And uh, guess what, Drew and Rachel? I have a little surprise for oh both of you. God. Bring them on Rachel. out. Bring them out. Look at this. Human-sized oh doggy bed. Oh, my God. that I'm into this. My dog, bed. my dog buries a lot of socks in this, so. <laughs> oh, bed time. Oh my you gosh, so oh. great. Yeah. Oh my God, is it comfortable? <laughs> it is. It is comfortable. <laughs> All right. Well, if they're going to stay cuddly and cozy, we want to say happy birthday to Rachel. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Rachel. We love you. 222 babies are celebrating their birthday. And coming up, what does the ultimate Drew Barrymore birthday cake look like? We're going to find out. And it's a competition. It's coming up next.